G'day ZGD here. Today, I have a bit of a sadder video for you guys. After six years of a committed relationship, me and my Razor Death Adder V2 <laughs> have decided to part ways. <laughs> the time has finally come. After this amount of time, I didn't think it would ever die. And now it is just starting on its final legs. The mouse cursor started jittering. The buttons started falling apart. <laughs> it still looks okay. It's got it's got tape that I put on it about two years ago. But it's finally, finally starting to give out. Guys, I've had this mouse for ages. And I could have not have asked for a better mouse. <laughs> I mean, with computer hardware, you usually expect something to give out in like a year or two or something like that. It's, you know, it's pretty expected that you're going to be replacing things pretty often. It just happens with computer hardware. But this thing has been an absolute trooper. I got this right when I first started playing StarCraft 2. And since then, I've played countless hours of StarCraft 2. I've, I've worked my way out from the bottom of Bronze League all the way up to Masters. With, which include plenty of furious, furious click spamming. And then I decided, sure Death Adder, you've worked very hard in RTSs. I think it's time for you to take a bit of a holiday into action RPGs. <laughs> <laughs> so I went from I went from StarCraft 2 click spamming to uh, Diablo 3 click spamming and then Path of Exile click spamming. And then uh, about six years of that, and it's finally now started giving out. So guys, for the last time ever, I would like you to bear witness, and this is gonna break the illusion of the green screen here a little bit. But, <laughs> oh no, the illusion has shattered. I would like you guys to bear witness to the very final unplugging of the Razor Death Lighter. Look, it's, it's lights have gone out for the very last time ever. Goodbye. Raise a death out of V2. I'm a bit emotional. <laughs> I'm a little emotional about this. I think, guys, there's only one thing you can do when something that has been a part of your life for this long gives out. To replace it, with the exact same thing. <laughs> I have uh, I have a box of, of void mice here. The uh, the Chroma King of the green screen there. <laughs> Kicking in wonderfully. I think there's only one thing you can do, and that's to, like, hope that you can replace it with the exact same thing and it works as well. If I get the same amount of time out of this one that I got out of this one, I'm very happy. This thing is apparently virtually the exact same. I believe the Razor Death Hat has been popular for so long with so many people that... They tried to keep it pretty much the same. I don't think much has changed at all. I think they, like, added an extra grip here or something. And, uh, this one has fancy colour options. But otherwise, I believe it's the same thing, and I hope it li lives up to the legacy that was my Razor Death Adder V2. So, I thought we'd do a little bit of an unboxing of my Void Razor Death Adder here. Uh, this was sent to me, actually, after I tweeted out that after six years of faithful service, my, uh, Death Adder V2 was, was dying. Um, a Razor rep uh, sent me a tweet saying, you know, we'd like to, we'd like to send you a replacer. Uh, I'm like, oh, thanks guys. I'll, I'll gladly, I'll gladly accept. So this was kindly sent out by one of one of the Razor reps uh, here in Australia. So there we have the Void Box. Pretty, pretty magical, right? I, I love it. I love it. Look, hold on. The uh, the cable just appears from nowhere from the Void. Oh. <laughs> Let's take it out. Pretty simple boxing. I like this. They, I, I seem to remember the last box for this was much bigger. Just very simple little thing here. Let's crack it out. All of the software and everything these days is um, downloadable. I've used the Razer Synapse software. The Razer Synapse software is okay. It does it does the job. It's a little bit intrusive at times. It, it likes to pop up a set of pop-ups every now and then. But it does, it does the job pretty well. And uh, it does a pretty good job with the macros too. Oh, there we go. There's the there's the new Razor Death Adder. These ones have uh, grips on the side here. Hmm, that's not bad. I think I could. I think I could come. I think I could grow to like that. It's gonna. It's gonna have a hard time. This particular mouse filling the shoes of the previous one that served me so well for so long. <laughs> I'm so. I'm so attached to this thing. It's gonna have. It's gonna have a tough time filling the shoes of that. But I think. I think it should do the job. So I suppose I should talk about. 
besides the fact that it lasted six years through so much abuse, <laughs> I, should, I should talk about why I liked and why I chose the Death Eye and what I thought about it after all. This is kind of like a pseudo review of the Death Eye. I, I think that after six years of use, I can probably qualify to give you guys a bit of a review on how I feel about the mouse. Um, I really like the Death Hunter because it's 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 quite a larger mice. If you have small hands, I don't have massive hands, but if you have smaller hands and like to have a claw grip, so if you like to hold your mice like that, then uh, you might not like it so much. But if you use a palm, I use a full palm grip, which is where the back of the mouse touches the palm of your hand. I use a full palm grip like that, and I grip with my mouse, my finger on the side here. So I hate buttons on this side. There's a lot of mice with buttons on this side now, and I, I absolutely hate that because I, I like to have a pretty firm grip on that side. But you know, this is this mouse is built for that. So full palm grip mouse, excellent design for that. You can work out okay if you have larger hands for a claw, claw grip, but otherwise for full palm grip with smaller to medium sized hands, this thing is perfect. Uh, and claw grip with larger hands, and it works. It works very nicely. Super comfy mouse. The um, the actual like texture of this one is the same as the old one. It feels like. Uh, though it does have that uh, different texture on the sides, whereas this one had kind of like a, a glossy, sleek texture on the side, so this actually might be a little bit nicer even. And then the, just the simple two buttons on the side, that's what I really like. I use this one for voice chat usually, so I can just hold my thumb on it like that to voice chat. Uh, and then this one on the side. I don't like mice that have like heaps of buttons on the side. Remember I started with RTSs and then moved into action RPGs, which require a lot of mouse accuracy, so a lot of you know, careful aiming. If you're pressing buttons on the side all the time, like having one to two buttons on the side is okay. If you're pressing buttons on the side all the time, you're throwing off your mouse accuracy by like pushing on the side of your mouse and it's restricting your movement as well. So I like to have the full palm grip, being able to have full freedom of movement without using too many side. It's also not good for your thumb to use a lot of side buttons as well, I don't think. Not great for the old RSI. Yeah, but this 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 thing, track they track very well and uh, just I love the, the comfort of it. It's like, it's a pretty, it's a pretty simple mouse, not overly complex, and that's what I really liked about it. Comfortable, simple, and obviously super freaking reliable after six years of use. Hope this one does as well as the last one. I do hope so. Alright, let's plug it in.